Yo, what up, explorers? I'm here with my homie Danny here, who's gonna tell us a bit about this asylum that we're at right now. All right, so this place opened up in 1871. Um, there were two owners here. Dude, they did some crazy stuff. They did. They tried to attempt fraud. And what, ha yeah, what happened was the building was over budgeted, meaning they took way too long to get it up and running. So what happened was they tried to burn this place down. They didn't. They didn't succeed 100. percent Oh. Yeah, they did get some of the parts, but they didn't get the main building, which is the Kirkbride. Yes. Now the Kirkbride is um the architecture uh, was made and invented by this guy named Dr. Kirkbride. Now. The Kirkbride architecture is pretty much almost like a bat wing. Um, it has like this natural sunlight that would go into the uh, the building. Uh, it, it has like this great airflow, yep. and pretty much he designed it in, in terms of like it's great for their mental health. It's easy to see across to the other side of the hall, exactly. so you know what the patients are doing. They can't really run and escape because they can literally see them from all the way to the other side. Yeah. But it's also great because the sunlight's coming in. So that's what we know about it. There's a lot more to this place. We are in Hudson, New York. I'm name dropping this place because everyone knows about this place. This place is destroyed, but it's a Kirkbride. It's an asylum. I haven't been to an asylum in a while. Danny hasn't been to an asylum a in a while. <laughs> and actually, it was not even that long ago. They actually found a dead body in here. Some urban explorers came here and found a dead body in here, and it was all over the news. Yes, yeah, somebody was murdered, huh? Yeah, someone was murdered here. This place is also haunted, then. Appar gonna, apparently, this place is haunted. We gotta find the morgue. We gotta find everything. Uh, yeah, so apparently, there is a morgue. There is a library but it's on the back, which is also where the Kirkbride main building is. Now the Kirkbride building was set on fire, but apparently not all of it was set on fire and it still is good enough to explore. This whole place is obviously not like the rest of the place. Now, a lot of places we go to is pretty good, but it's still a good video. A place we've been wanting to go to for a long time. We just always shrugged it off because everyone's been here, but we're here now. Let's get on with it. No doubt. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are at building one of many buildings. There is everything here including pool, a uh, school, a gym. There was even a water tower here. I mean, everything for living is here. You don't need to go anywhere else. You can just pretty much be here. That's how they designed this place to be. Tons of land here. And I don't know what we're about to walk over, but I feel like I'm gonna get my shoes wet. So I gotta really be uh, careful here, especially because it's actually really cold. Oh man, everything seems to be all ice. Ooh, okay, I did it. It's all part of the adventure. Dude. What's up, whoa, whoa, it's good to see you guys here. We got Iz in the back, who's a Hello. photographer, uh, photographer in Miami. We got our homie Seth here. Is that exploring with Josh, bro? Yeah, you already know the deal. So Links in the description down below. Let's go inside this building. Do you know this one? You know this one? What's good about this one? This is the violent ward. This how is do where you... the criminally insane would stay. How do you know? How do I know? Uh -huh. Because the internet. Okay. That's how we figured this All out. Right, that's Let's good. get it. hospitals that try to meet the needs of the mentally sick, not merely with treatment, but with practical help for living, for living an ordinary life in the community. It's crazy because like, I can't even picture what this place used to look like because it's so destroyed. Yeah, this is literally like King's Hospital. At least we got some light coming through, that's just really great. Everyone's been here, even just random people. Their grandmas have came in here just to hang out. Seth's grandma's been here. That's true. <laughs> but look at, look at, look how it looks like. Looks like it would have been a courtyard outside of here, surrounded by this building. It's a circular building we're going in, we're in right now. Oh, that's good. We actually came up to something. Someone's making it like a blanket, but over here we got some paintings here. So, how do you do these hallways? Stuff that, like, you know, it's empty, but we just came up to our first find since we came into this asylum. It's literally just a, bun a bunch of paintings and stuff that you could find probably in like an art gallery. Now, explorers, I do just want to remind you that the reason why we're here is because I'm, for some reason, just fascinated by asylums. I don't know why, but I just like asylums. I don't, it's just how it is. It's just crazy how like back in the day, these people that were living here in these, like the patients, the nurses, everything just all happened. How they all shut down. The reason why all the asylums shut down is because they created new medicines, medicines that were controlling the patients that was keeping them from going 
insane, I guess you would say, or you know what I'm saying, it's stopping them from being as violent, tons of things. So once these medicines came out, they realized that they didn't need these buildings no more. None of these buildings were needed because simply just the medicine that was invented that came out was doing more than enough than any one of these asylum buildings would ever do. So they realized that they just shut them down and that's when they just were putting them into hospitals and things like that into like they called I think is like psych wards and they didn't need anything else of this anymore. But you live and learn. But a lot of these asylums, I'm talking too much, but I want to educate you guys in some way as I can with my broken English. But, <laughs> but a lot of these asylums, like I said, oh, this is a nice room. A lot of these asylums. The, all the patients were mistreated. A lot, of, a lot of times it got really violent. The nurses didn't know what to really do and, and things like that. Doctors were really mistreating them, giving them wrong medicine, killing them. And you know, it was just really tough. Oh, one reason why I love Assams is because of simply like this. You go inside these rooms where you're, you're, you know, you're typically like on a porch. It's still gated, but then nature takes over and then it, you, know, you can just see through the window still, but it just creates this like, I don't know, like uncharted type of view. The bottle looks like it's fairly new. I don't even know. What, what does it say on it? I don't uh, form. I, I, form? I don't even know. Uh, Seems like they were doing something though. Yeah. And that looks like there's like old blood. Yeah, it's like, brown now. It's yo, know, that's definitely his old blood. Dude, that's blood for Ew. Sure. Jeez. Please. It's like tentacles all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm getting grabbed by my leg. For real. This takes me back to the good days though. This is what I started off with. Yeah, dude. Exploring places like this. So I love these places because of the cake. It just makes artwork happen. Yeah, it does. Now we just entered a hallway that's just new, more newer, but it's even smaller. It's a small, skinny hallway. Again, yeah, there's nothing in them. So we're gonna leave this building now because we're spending way too much time in this one building. We have two and a half hours of daylight left and there's a lot to cover. So I wanna hit as much of the main stuff as we possibly can. So, hey, I mean, just look out this window. I mean, it's, it's out there. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we got whatever this building is literally right here in front of us too. At last, we're outside and it's, everything just feels so dead here, which it is, but we're just surrounded in like our own town. As if we're like the mayor. A predecessor to electroconvulsive therapy was insulin therapy, although this approach was more dangerous and less effective than ECT has since become. Insulin therapy was developed by Viennese physician Manfred Sackel. It was used primarily on patients with schizophrenia. The idea was to give patients insulin, which would make their blood sugar drop. The patient would then slip into a coma and most importantly would experience a convulsive reaction. One form of reaction brought about by insulin therapy was called wet shock because it included profuse sweating and drooling as seen here. Graffiti's playground right here. It's a really cool hallway. These must have been some sort of like circular air vents pushing air. Really cool. This is really unique. What is all this? Dude, seriously. Everyone definitely just graffitied and skated here. It feels like I'm in Berlin. Jeez. All right, all right, we found the bowling alley. 
<laughs> this is the most destroyed bowling alley I've ever seen. I knew it was gonna be like this. Guys, seriously, this is gutted. Yeah. What the heck? Look, I'm just gonna walk to the other side. Look at this. This is ins yeah. This is horrible. Ah, oh, yeah. We made it to the pool. Oh, dude, look how it just opens. All the spray paint cans are in there. I think it's ice. Dude, I think from all, either it's oil or something, but from actually all the paint cans, if you look inside the colors, it's like a colored pool, unless it's the reflections from the actual graffiti, but I don't think so. This is awesome. How did people get up there? They must've took ladders. But even the ceiling, look at this. It's almost like a, a waffle cut in half, <laughs> each, each section. We now have an hour and a half before it's dark. I'm gonna bring up the drone while we still can so you all can literally see the location and how wide and how big this place actually is so you get an idea because once it's dark, I'm out of here. But I got my light. I might film a little bit in the dark, we'll see. I wanna make sure I see as much as we can. Dude, it took like four hours to get here. This is how hard it is. You gotta wake up like super early to get here just in time to show it as much as we can. Daylight savings suck. We almost missed something. What did we almost miss? The theater. I was like so confused by this dome. I'm like, what is this? I go inside and it opens up to the theater. And we might need some lighting in here. I have my light in my bag, but we're gonna need some serious lighting. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> we did. This is nice. You guys should have got the A7S II right here, Seth. Yep. Because we don't even need lighting. That's okay. I'm Represent. Buy the A7S3. Okay, me too. Yeah, this place is this place is top notch. I can only imagine, dude. Like, what events they actually held for the patients here. Like really, like I'm just so curious. I think I'd be intimidated to actually perform in front of these inmates, you know? True, yeah, yeah. I don't even yeah. know what to do. <laughs> Maybe I should intense. play the piano like a, you know? I would have played the piano if Me I knew too. how. So right now we have some daylight left, like I said. Most important thing to do right now, because I want to show this off and emphasize and give you guys an idea of how this playground is. I'm going to get the drone up in the air. It's the best thing we can do. Shout out to DJI. The Mavic 2, it's a lifesaver. Like I said, due to the fact it's getting dark soon, we're, we're gonna skip this building for now. This is the biggest building here in Hudson uh, State Insane Hospital. So we're gonna skip this one, head to the back where the administration building is, the main building, and that Kirkbride looking building, the, the, which is the main, pretty much main one we wanna go into. Like I said, I wanna see this place. I wanna see how it looks and how it's done. I don't think I've ever been in a Kirkbride. This is my first one. And it's probably the worst Kirkbride built right now because it's destroyed, but it's the first one for me. So, I mean, this is a first. I have to, I just wanna check it out. But it's really dark inside. They board up the whole thing. So we're not even gonna see the natural lighting that how it, how it would have been but we'll get the idea, I guess, whatever we can get. My boy. How's it look? Oh, is it like really that bad? There's no floor. There's no floor either, damn. Let me see. Even this. I'm scared to even stand on this. Oh God. Oh my God, yeah. It's dead. This place is literally dead. Thing you would see in a Victorian architecture gothic style this tower right here look at this all connected like I said I said this a lot of times but it's just really cool to see a building like this this place is reminding me of Denby Asylum in the UK that door super cool but yeah here's what we're looking at now this is why I'm saying we might not be able to go inside here there's not even a floor left 
So I just got off the phone with my boy Ryan because the time's ticking. He told me exactly where to go and what to do. He's a lifesaver. But anyways, dude, admin building, gone. We're going underneath the bridge. Like I said, this is the Kirkbride. That's all thing, like lit up, all lined away, all the way over there. We were behind there. We already checked it out. We came all the way around here now, which led us here, underground. Man, we're going they, in. They really don't want people in here, Josh. Look at those panels right there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, dude, it's, they're trying to keep people out because it's super dangerous. Right. Yeah. I would definitely not want to go in here. I mean, look at this. This place is no good. It's ridiculous. But apparently... The female ward is pretty much the last great thing we can see. Now there is a morgue. I don't even know if we're ever gonna see it, but at least we made it this far. Dude, it like just opened up inside our playground again. I'm calling it the playground. Look at this. Dude. Look at this right now. Apparently at the end of this hall, we're gonna take another left and we'll be inside the female ward. I'm gonna follow my friend's directions. We're above the floor. This is what's been caving in down there. Is there a fireplace back there? Yep. It looks like Pretty much there. seems like like the living quarters, like, I don't know, hanging out before bed. You know, a lot of them would just literally, at least from what I've seen in pictures and American Horror Story, they just all just chill. Literally just an open, Open like this area is just hang out. Dude, they don't really do much. Yo, this is cool. You got that 50s fridge. That's what I was thinking. Like a 50s fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Female ward's bed. And over here we got some actual cool light just shining in. This is so cool. And then apparently we got Dan's seat. Little hangout spot right here. What the heck? <laughs> this is cool. Look at this freaking sun. Let me see. The America Journal of Psychiatry. That's cool. Damn. Can you imagine the Kirkbride? This is what they were seeing all every night. Was what we're trying to get. This is a no-go. It's literally we're trapped. I mean, look at you even got the wet floor sign for caution. And that's it. We can't get to the other side. It's literally blocked off. We are. All right, let's get upstairs again. One more might be something else. I really am liking the the freaking females ward though. Oh, we made it to their side. Well, at least over here. Oh, I made it. Jeez. Now, is there anything here? That's the question. Oh, it looks like just. I don't know. I think this is where they serve people for the cafeteria. It's over here. We got an old orange soda can. It's a tin can too. White rock. It says go back as we're entering pretty much the last floor. Add some suspense and drama to this. This is pretty much where we should be hopefully able to get on the roof. I don't know where this ladder leads, but... It's gotta be the roof, bro. It might be. I just wanna check this hallway. See we're probably literally seeing only 20% of this whole place. Maybe he's on the roof? Must be. Yeah. yeah, we have to get up there ASAP. Yeah. But hang on. Let's just scout this place out. Wow, look at this. Yeah. Hudson Fire was an inside job. <laughs> UER. <laughs> well, apparently, apparently it is because the owner, like I said in the beginning, the owners apparently are suspected of lighting the place on fire themselves. Wasn't able to film this scene coming up this ladder because it was super dangerous. But the view up here is super cool. Just trying to get all the homies up here. But this roof will, I feel like could collapse with our weight, but maybe in only certain areas. Here we are. 
And this is the main building, pretty much the center. All destroyed from the fire. Some buildings in the back we'll probably never see, but one of these one of these in the back is the morgue, and there's also a library, but I doubt we're getting inside them. A lot of my friends come up here during the night and just hang out while, while they watch the sunset. To be honest, it's really relaxing up here. But this is just insane. It's sketchy up here, huh? Yeah, dude, it feels like everything's gonna crumble. I know, like you're scaring me even walking with me. I'm gonna walk away from you now, I've seen it. <laughs> you can get it. Yeah, dude, this place is like... Crazy. Oh, God! <laughs> Weather's good, it's about 40 degrees. Really good day, because sometimes it gets like 20 or even 15 at night at the moment. It's way too cold for me. I, it's, I have such a hard time filming at night. All right, explorers, this is where we're gonna end today's video. We are in the center of the Kirkbride. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. We stayed until dark, we're here for about three and a half hours. We got everything we could. We did miss a library, we did miss a morgue, but from what I've been understanding is that the morgue has been completely sealed and locked up where there's no way of going in. I don't know, dude, trust me. People come in here and open up these places every day, every other day. So, I mean, it could be shut one day and then open the next day. It's a gamble here. Everyone comes here. But we might not have been able to come in here, but who knows? Whatever, maybe another time. But we did cover a good amount as much as we can. <sighs> Explorers, rise above. Just get out there, explore. Peace and thanks for watching.